सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा स्वदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिश्रुति पुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने योम व्याप्तिहाय दक्षिणामूर्त सहनावत सहनौन सह वीर कर्मा तेजस्वीत मस्तमाशावे ओं शांत शांत शांति धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्य प्रकृति धातु ब्रह्मात्मे नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्वी लोका सप्तद्वीपा चेदी In the fifth chapter, we were at sixth shloka. We finished sixth shloka. Just wanted to mention another way to do the anvaya here. <coughs> okay, here. So we saw the shloka: Sanyasa stu mahabaho dukham aptu yoga taha yoga yukto munir brahma. मुनि वर्सेस कॉन्ट्रास्टेड विद ईच अदर वन हू इज विदउट मीन दैट पर्सन महाबा संन्यास आप्त दुखम भवती सो वी हेड सीन दी अन्वया वेर वी सेन हे महा अयोगता संन्यास तो दुखम आप्तुम भवती सो दुखे न विसो सो वी कैन शिफ्ट दिस एंड आप्तुम दुखम संन्यास आप्तुम तो दुखम भवती सो आई जस्ट मेंशन दिस हियर यू कैन सी व्हिच मेक्स मोर सेंस टू यू ग्रामेटिकली और ग्रामेटिकली बोथ आर ओके बट व्हाट साउंड्स गुड टू यू सो संन्यास आई लाइक दिस दुखम भवती सो आप्त दुखम होती संन्यास आप्त दुखम होती सो दुखम इज यूज लाइक अ लाइक अ वर्ड विच शोज दैट इज डिफिकल्ट सो इन इंग्लिश इफ यू लुक एट दिस इट दिस विल मेक मोर सेंस इफ यू आर मोर ट्यून टू थिंकिंग इन इंग्लिश सो हे महाभाव यो अयोगत संन्यास तो आप्त संन्यास आप्त दुखम होती इज डिफिकल्ट सो यू ट्रांसलेट दिस इज ईज एंड दिस इज अ डिफिकल्ट Here with difficulty, दुखे न आप तुम भवती हियर दुखम भवती मीनिंग टू एटेन संन्यास इज डिफिकल्ट एंड वॉट इज दिस संन्यास ज्ञान संन्यास ज्ञान लक्षण संन्यास वेर संन्यास इज यू डिस्कनेक्ट फ्रॉम एवरी एवरी थिंग बिकॉज यू आर असंग आत्मा नोइंग दिस असंग आत्मा यू आर कंप्लीटली डिस्कनेक्ट फॉर एवरी थिंग दैट कैंड ऑफ संन्यास इज डिफिकल्ट मीनिंग मोक्ष इज डिफिकल्ट What this means is moksha is difficult. Literally also, sanyasa if a person takes, then there is dukkha, which is taken by Madhusudana Saraswati. So Bhagwan Madhusudana Saraswati takes a different meaning in Anvaya. What he does is uh, he uses this and okay. So he says, he mahabaho ayoga taha sanyasa ap tum. लेटमी चेक सॉल्ट समवेर संन्यास तो दुखम आप तुम भवती हियर संन्यास दुख दिस सेम थिंग बट दिस दुखम इज नॉट एज दुखे न हियर दुखम इज वॉट एडवर्बियल दुखे न सो दुखे न आप तुम भवती दिस इज इक्वल टू दुखे न वेर एज हियर हियर वेन ही टेक्स दिस मीनिंग द सेम सेम थिंग बट हियर अयोगता संन्यास तो दुखम आप्त भवती दिस दुखम गोस टू नॉट एज एन एडवर्ब बट इट इज अ कर्मा टू आप्त सी जनरली दिस तुमुन प्रत्यय वेन इट इज अ तुमुन प्रत्यांत शब्द वी एक्सपेक्ट दी वर्ड टू बी इन सेकेंड केस इनफैक्ट दिस वॉज मै क्वेरी ऑल्सो लॉन्ग बैक वेन आर स्टडी संन्यास इज दि कर्म फॉर आप्तुम बट वाई इज इट इन फर्स्ट केस इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू सी दि अन्वया टू मी इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू सी दि अन्वया विथ संन्यास आप्तुम दुखम होती 
sannyasa but all are possible grammatically all are valid we are not tuned to thinking that tumun uh, tumun should take karma in second case this is our thinking but sannyasa in first case can go with aptum so here sannyasa aptum dukhena aptum bhavati dukhena is adverbial to aptum it is not a karma sannyasa is a karma why because aptum is like karmani so aptum can be used as kartari as well as karmani we are used to thinking karmani so uh, uh, sorry we are used to thinking uh, uh, karma here because this aptum is we think as as kartari and thereby we look at uh, second case as karma for this but if you look at aptum as karmani prayoga then sanyasa in first case is expected as karma to aptum so the, that is the way it is like karma karmani prayoga so that is the anvaya these are the three anvayas and uh, bhagwan madhusudana saraswati takes this where dukham is aptum is still kartari uh, like kartari see it is shuddha dhatvartha to attain so you translate this as to attain and this this dhatvartha can go in kartari or in karmani so you, you have to think if it is kartari uh, kartari then you say apnoti so uh, ayogatah sanyasah to dukham apnoti if you say that this is the kind of prayoga which is done here so aptum means like apnoti and if you say apnoti then dukham is expected in second case and this becomes in uh, this becomes the karma to aptum so sanyasa leads to what sanyasa uh, brings about dukha that's the idea here it brings sorrow so here the, it is not difficulty or difficult here it is difficult with difficulty here dukham means is difficult dukham bhavati means is difficult dukham aptum here dukham aptum goes together where attain uh, attaining sanyasa is difficult uh, uh, sorry uh, sanyasa is attained so is attained here it is karmani so is attained is attained sanyasa is attained so karmani prayoga with what dukham dukhena with difficulty this is the first meaning second meaning is what sanyasa to aptum dukham bhavati to attain sanyasa here it is exact tumun artha to attain what sanyasa but again uh, this is a karmani antargata to attain sanyasa is difficult so dukham is, is means difficult here so here it means with difficulty here it means is difficult and here sanyasa dukham aptum bhavati means sanyasa leads to dukha dukha here means sorrow so it leads to sorrow this is the meaning that bhagwan madhusudana saraswati takes so all three are valid we'll keep all three here yada punaha ayam samyak jnana praptyupayatvena ayam this yada punaha or so far we have seen uh, we have seen mixed as to who is this person this person may be following karma yoga and thereby karma yogi or another person who is Uh, taking sanyasa both have the same result one kramena other directly because there is only one path to moksha which is jnanena moksha and jnanena moksha therefore how will jnana come it will come only through karma yoga if a person has done karma yoga so much in his earlier life then one may directly go to jnana and may not see karma yoga is bringing the same result it's like you, you are going on a highway and uh, uh, there are two people going one person has to go midway other has to go further the one is making a stop over rather and that stop over the person who is making a stop over and the other one who is directly going to the destination you cannot say that the road is different the road is the same you cannot say the destination is different destination is also same therefore ubhayo vindate phalam we have seen that now uh, specific cases are shown which are applicable to both or sometimes only to one so yada punaha ayam samyak jnana prapti upayatvena if a person is engaged in 
इन कर्म योगा वाई सम्यक ज्ञान प्राप्ति उपाया इट इज एज अ मीन्स उपाय इज एंगेजिंग इन कर्म योगा बिकॉज इट इज द मीन्स टू ज्ञान प्राप्ति देर बाय वॉट योग युक्त विशुद्धात्मा विजितात्मा जितेन्द्रिय सर्वभूतात्म भूतात्मा कुरुवन्न अपि न लिप्यते सो दॅट पर्सन सिन्स ही इज युजिंग कर्मयोगा ॲज अ मीन्स टू ज्ञान अँड देअर बाय वॉट द कर्म कर्म दॅट ही इज डुईंग इज कर्मयोगा वी कॉल हिम कर्मयोगी बिकॉज हिज कर्म इज वैदिक कर्म अप्रतिषिद्ध कर्म नित्य नैमित्तिक कर्म अँड अकाम्य कर्म इट इज नॉट काम्य कर्म देअर बाय ही इज फॉलोइंग कर्मयोगा अँड ही इज offering it to the lord doing it for the lord taking it as prasada thereby yoga yukta karma yoga yukta vishuddhatma due to this being yoga yukta yogena yukta yoga yukta thereby he is what he is vishuddhatma vishuddhatma means atma is antakarana vishuddha uh, vishuddham uh, here it is uh, atma is pulling uh, therefore vishuddha atma is equal to antakaranam yasya saha vishuddhatma Why is he Vishuddhatma? Because he has Chitta Shuddhi. Why does he have Chitta Shuddhi? Because he is Yoga Yukta, Karma Yoga Yukta. And thereby, Vijitatma. He has a same over his Atma, meaning Antakkarana. Shuddhi is there, thereby, Jnana can take place. And Vijitatma means, Vijitani, not Vijitani here, Atma. Vijita, Vijitaha, Atma, Antakkarana, Yasya. So, Vijitatma, he has, so this shows that he has Chitta Shuddhi, this shows he has Indriya Nigraha, he is Jitendriya and here if you take uh, the Antakkarana, here you say take Shama, he is Shamavan, here it is, he is Dhamavan, so thereby Jitendriya means, he, Indriyas which are external, they are under his control, here it shows he has Antakkarana and the Jnanendriya is under control. Vishuddhatma, uh, she has is, is got Chitta Shuddhi, thereby, this is what Jitendriya is, uh, Jitani Indriyani Yena, so here it is, 113 Bahurhi, here it is, Shashti Bahurhi, Shashti Sambandha with Pantakkarana Guru, here also same. योगयुक्त ये तत्पुरुष तृतीय तत्पुरुष देन सर्वभूतात्म भूतात्मा सो देर इज वन भूतात्मा हियर एंड अनदर भूतात्मा हियर सो सर्वभूत बट हियर सर्वभूत सर्वभूत आत्मभूत आत्मा ये सो so, दिस आत्मा इज अंतकरण एंड दिस और not antakarana this is atma so if you look at the meaning sarva bhuta atma he he has samyak darshana now we what we say as uh, sarvatma bhava so this entire word means sarvatma bhava so sarva bhuta atma whichever is the atma for everyone this this person is in that form thereby this is also bahuri So the person who, whose Atma is everyone's Atma, meaning it is only one. He does not make a division that the, there is one Atma for him and there are other Atmas separate. So this is all after Jnana Utpatti. What happens? Kuruvan Api, while doing also, Api Na Lipyate, he is not tainted. The other possibility is Yoga Yukta, here is Jnana Yoga Yukta. So, uh, Shankaranandi interprets in this manner that Yoga Yukta, one possibility is Karma Yoga Yukta, uh, says Bhagavan Shankarananda, another is Jnana Yoga Yukta. So, Jnana Yoga Yukta will go well with Sarva Bhutatma Bhutatma. And why uh, Jnana Yoga Yukta? Because he has done Shravana Manana Nididhyasana after being Vishuddhatma, Vijitatma, Jitendriya. And then Yoga Yukta. In the first interpretation of Yoga Yukta, he is Karma Yoga Yukta. Therefore, this is the first stage whereby he has got these three, so to say, qualifications. And in the other interpretations, he has these three qualifications due to 
having finished due to his having finished karma yoga up to a great extent and thereby he becomes jnana yoga yukta so that is the second interpretation thereby what sarva bhutatma bhutatma kurvan api na lipyate while doing also karma he is not tainted okay same mistake let me before we go to the other let me just copy i keep on forgetting this and then i have to type all that what i was doing earlier was better so it's easier to copy paste let me just copy paste a few shlokas so that i don't forget it should suffice so this will leave us a uskara that i'll copy paste next time hopefully okay so yoga yukta vishuddhatma main sentence is kurvan api na lipyate so kurvan api na lipyate while doing also he is not tainted who is that it is this vishuddhatma all of this so there is nothing more to do here yoga yukta vishuddhatma as it is vishuddhatma vijitatma jitendriya you can add sun somewhere if you want that's all but otherwise everything else is as is so nothing more to do here kurvan api na lipyate as is very rare to see such uh, in shlokas nothing more to do here na cha aso parmartha sa karoti ityata why kurvan api na lipyate now he is either a jnani or he uh, aparoksha jnani or at least paroksha jnani there why he knows that आत्मा माय स्वरूप इज व्हाट आत्मा स्वरूप इज शुद्ध असंग सो दे कैन नॉट बी कर्तृत्व एंड भोक्तृत्व पॉसिबल इवन इफ आई मिस्टेक इट स्टिल इट इज नॉट रियल न च असो परमार्थ तथा करोति इन रियलिटी ही इज नॉट डूइंग वेदर एज अ साधक और एज अ ज्ञानी और इवन रियली एज एनीवन बट because of kartrutva bhav one gets bound and is forced into bhoga through samsara through janma but parmarthat what is the reality if not for an ajnani if not for a paroksha jnani but definitely for an aparoksha jnani thereby some division is shown here so this earlier shloka it can be taken for a person who is leading himself to jnana and then to moksha kramen vaya karma yoga here once he has landed or a person who is already a jnani he for him these two shlokas are mentioned naiva kinchit karomi ti yukto manne ta tatvavit pashyan shrunvan sprushan jigran asnan gachchan swapanshasan pralapan visrjan ghrunnan mission nimishan api इंद्रियाणींद्रियाथेशु वर्तंत धारय सो दीज टू श्लोका मेक वन अन्वया दे आर सम थर्टीन क्रियाज मेन्शन इंटरेस्टिंगली शंकर दी सेज दैट विल यू सी वॉट इट सेज बट लेट मी जस्ट मेन्शन दिस नैव किंचित कौमी सो न एव किंचित कौमी मेत इति युक्त मन्यत ज्ञान युक्त इज अ योगी ज्ञान योगी युक्त मन्यत ही डज नॉट कन्सिडर दैट आई एम डूईंग एनिथिंग सो वॉट डज ही कन्सिडर आई एम नॉट डूईंग एनिथिंग गुणा गुणेशु वर्तंते देर इज गुण विच इज इंटेलिजी विथ गुण कार्य गुण कार्य आर इंटेलिजी विथ गुण अदर वे राउंड सॉरी सो गुण कार्य मीनिंग दी ऑल दीज पंच महाभूता कार्य आर इंटेलिजी विथ पंच महाभूता that is the reason they have been created all the shabda sparsha rasa uh, all of these shabda sparsha rasa uh, rupa rasa gandha shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha all of these are objectified they are qualities of pancha mahabhutas and they pancha mahabhutas have created the as in ishwara in the form of this pancha mahabhutas has created the karya in the form of indriyas they have come from these subtle 
पंच महाभूता एंड देन दे दीज कार्यास गुण कार्यास दे देम सेल्फ ऑब्जेक्टिफाई दी गुणा देर वाय गुणा गुणेशु वर्तन्ते इन दी फर्स्ट गुणा गुणा गुणेशु वर्तन्ते गुणा इंद्रजीत विद गुणा मीनिंग पंच महाभूता इंद्रजीत विद पंच पंच महाभूत कार्य इंद्रजीत विद पंच महाभूता एंड देर वाय दिस चक्रा कंटिन्यूस हवेवर दी आत्मा विच इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम दिस one who knows that atma that particular atma which is the real atma not any of this uh, mithya atma where there is sambandha what does he think he does not he thinks that i am not doing any of this na eva kin na kinchit na kinchit na eva kinchit karomi or na kinchit na karomi kinchit na karomi इति एव युक्ता मन्येत किंचिद न किंचिद अपि न करोमि किंचिद न करोमि इति एव युक्ता मन्येत हु इज दिस युक्ता इज ए इज ए कर्मयोग युक्ता और ही इज ज्ञान योग युक्ता सो तत्तो वित तत्तो वित मींस ही इज ज्ञान योग ज्ञान योग ज्ञान योग युक्ता ज्ञान युक्ता विज्ञान युक्ता देयर बाय तत्तो वित इज क्लेरिफाइंग by qualifying yukta as it's a jnani he does not consider himself as uh, doing anything how pashyan shrunvan prashan jigran pashyan seeing the so all of this yukta manyeta will take this and keep it so iti eva kinchinna karomi iti eva manyeta मन्येत हु इज दैट पश्यन सीइंग पश्यन तत्व विद अज्ञानी हु इज सीइंग ही थिंक्स दैट आई एम नॉट सीइंग श्रुण्वन सीइंग हियरिंग वन हु इज लिसनिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ अज्ञानी थिंक्स दैट आई एम नॉट लिसनिंग स्पृशन व्हाई टचिंग ही सेज आई एम नॉट टचिंग जिग्रन आई एम नॉट टेस्टिंग Ashnan, while eating, I am not uh, so uh, any of this. So, uh, jigran is while smelling, while smelling. Ashnan, while eating. Gachan, while going. Swapan, while sleeping. Swap is nidra. It has both meanings. Swapna as dream as well as sleep. So here, sleeping. Swasan, breathing. Pralapan, visrujan. So pralapan while talking. Uh, visrujan, while excreting. Grinnan, while grasping something using his hands. Unmission, nimission, meaning while blinking, both put together, opening the eyes, uh, eyelids, and uh, closing the eyelids. So, opening the eye and closing the eye. Api indriyani indriyarthesu vartante iti dharayan vartante iti dharayan. Indriyani indriyarthesu guna guneshu vartante. So, guna guneshu vartante has been commented upon by this by saying indriyani indriyarthesu in the sloka itself. वर्तन्ते इति धारयन होल्डिंग दिस इन हिज माइंड दैट विद क्लैरिटी इट इज नॉट समथिंग लाइक एन उपासना ही हैज क्लैरिटी दैट आई एम असंग आत्मा आई कैन नेवर बी डूइंग एनीथिंग दीज आर हैपनिंग्स दीज आर हैपनिंग्स आई एम जस्ट अ विटनेस टू दिस आई एम अ साक्षी सो हु इज दिस इति धारयन तत्ववित युक्तः मन्येत सो ओके लेट मी सी किंचिन्न करोमी इति मन्येत पश्यन श्रुण्वन सो लेट्स टेक दिस सो पश्यन पश्यन श्रुण्वन स्पृशन जिग्रन अश्नन गच्छन स्वपन श्वसन प्रलपन विसृजन घृणन उन्मिशन निमिशन अपि तत्ववित अपि अपि तत्वित युक्ता इंद्रिया इंद्रियाु वर्तन्ते इति धारयन किंचिन्न करोमि इति मन्येत
bar L. Yeah. So so you can add yukta somewhere. So pashyan shrunu nityadi api yukta ha yukta ha indriyani indriyarju vartande iti dharen kinchin na karomi iti eva manyeta tattva vit yukta ha yukta ha tattya vit so yukta ha tattva vit indriyani indriyarteshu vartande iti dharen kinchin na karomi iti eva manyeta so this is how you can do an anvaya i will not mark the cases because all are uh, all are in first case all are in most of these this is in indriyani indriyar so this is i'll just mark this case prathama bhuvachana indriyar jo saptami bhuvachana it is haryan so even while doing all of this so what does shankarandi say shankarandi says it takes a purva paksha elsewhere not here it takes a purva paksha elsewhere and says earlier somewhere and says uh, why only only uh, uh, a jnani taking sanyasa why do you talk about a jnani taking sanyasa why can't he remain in karma yoga why can't he do karma yoga so he says that karma yoga is impossible for a jnani and in that context he quotes this shloka these two shlokas he quotes and says what do these two shlokas show you he says you look at this nowhere is there vaidika karma mentioned in this he is saying that only the sharira karmas are talked about no vaidika karma is mentioned here thereby this jnani Uh, who is just living in this body and thereby he is just witnessing the kriyas which are going on which are uh, not for any karth, uh, any uh, any karya he does not hand, have any interest in the results it is not with phala kaamsha so you see why do you blink your eyes it is a happening why do you smell or hear something it is a happening but you can choose what to hear what not to hear so sanyasi a jnani is not interested to choose what what he should hear except for shravana mana vidyasana he has a choice in shravana he has a choice thereby he takes that choice as but other than that he does not make a choice as to what do i want to do it's a natural happening everything else is natural happening thereby all these are indriya dharmas karma indriya and um, jnana indriya dharmas which are shown here none of these uh, are chosen by him as an activity to do as kartavyata with kartavyatvam he does not do it that in that manner for a person to do karma yoga also for chitta shuddhi or to do any vaidika karma there has to be sankalpa none of that is possible for a jnani thereby shankarandi says that this uh, here no vaidika karma is talked about Uh, laukika how dura laukika is anyway not a question, is not questioned by even the uh, puro even the puro pakshi here this uh, even if you say this is all laukika karma it is all just to maintain the body nothing more than that anyway so yastu punaha atattvit pravrtascha karma yoge on the other hand so here a division can be seen clearly although the result is same still there is a division in sadaka as to whether he takes to uh, sanyasa or he continues with karma yoga so atat with one who is ajnani and karma yoga pravrtascha one who is engaged in pra, uh, in karma yoga what about him brahmanyadhaya karmani sangantyaktva karoti yah lipyate na sapapena padma pit patram ivambhasa so pat पद्म पत्र इव अंबसा पापे न सह न लिप्यते दिस इज मेन सेंटेंस एज इन व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट व्हाट अबाउट दिस कर्मयोगी हु इज एंगेज अज्ञानी व्हाट अबाउट दिस अज्ञानी हु इज एंगेज इन कर्म व्हाट अबाउट हिम ही इज नॉट टेंटेड बाय पापा ही इज अनटच न लिप्यते नॉट टेंटेड हाउ एग्जांपल इज लाइक अंबसा पापेन इस तृतीय पापेन सह न लिप्यते सह 
कर्मयोगी न लिप्यते हाउ जस्ट लाइक इव अंबसा पद्म पत्र न लिप्यते तथा यथा पद्म पत्र अंबसा न लिप्यते तथा सह कर्मयोगी पापे न न लिप्यते दिस इज द आइडिया हियर एंड व्हाट डज दिस अंब 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 इज वाटर एंड पद्म पत्र इज पद्म इज लोटस पद्म पत्र इज अ लोटस लीफ जस्ट लाइक वाटर द द द लोटस लीफ इज नॉट टेंटेड और नॉट इट डज नॉट हैव द द इंप्रेशन ऑफ द वाटर इट डज इट डज नॉट द the water does not affect it so much because uh, it remains under water and whenever it comes back the water just flows down it just uh, slips off the lotus leaf if you have seen a lotus leaf it is it should be very clear the example is clear even the water droplets which are there on it they don't you know spread and wet wetten it you see the lotus leaf is like like a dry lotus as a as a dry leaf the water just flows down if if you just uh, move the uh, the you, you don't have to wipe it off you just uh, move the leaf downwards it will the water will just flow flow down and even the droplets which stay they just stay as droplets they don't spread itself on the leaf like on other leaves so it does not get wet completely the way other leaves get wet similarly here this person is not tainted the way others are tainted tainted meaning they they have vasanas due to karma that they are doing that papa is retained for them to be fructified in the future thereby samsara uh, continues and it will fructify as prarabdha in this janma or another janma thereby that papa will taint this person because he has kartrutva bhava bhuktutra will remain and why is it so why what is it that is different between a karma yogi and a karmi brahmani adaya karmani sangam tyaktva karoti yah so this this karma yogi is one who uh, karma karoti karmani karoti how sangam tyaktva he is not associated with karma phala therefore sanga he has no sanga he, he is doing it for ishvara therefore brahmani adaya brahmani saguna brahmani adaya he offers it unto the lord and having taken the basis for everything as ishvara if he has some jnana otherwise offering it to the lord as the ruler or as the karma phala data he says i do not want any phala i am doing it for you thereby brahmani karmani adaya thereby कर्माणि यह करोति संगन त्यक्त्वा यह करोति सह पद्म पत्रम इवांभसा पापे न नलिप्यते ब्रह्मणि सप्तमी एक वचन आधाय लेवंत कर्माणि यह करोति देरवाय द्वितीय एक वचन संगन त्यक्त्वा संगन त्यक्त्वा कर्माणि करोति यह सह पापे न लिप्यते यथा पद्म पत्र इव संभसा कर्मणि ब्रह्मणि आधाय और रिलेटेड ब्रह्मणि आदे सप्तमी इज बेटर इन दी बिगिनिंग कर्माणि संगन त्यक्त्वा कर्माणि यह करोति यह करोति यह कैन आल्सो गो इन दी बिगिनिंग ब्रह्मणि आधाय संगन त्यक्त्वा कर्माणि यह करोति सह सह पद्म पत्र अंबसा पद्म पत्र इव सह अंबसा पद्म पत्र सह लीटर फॉर इजी अंबसा पद्म पत्र इव 
सह पापे न लिप्य ब्रह्मणी आधाय संगुण चक्वा कर्मणी कर्माणी यह करोती अंबसा पद्म पत्र में वह सह पापे न लिप्य थे और सह कैन बी मूड हियर विच एवर रीड्स बेटर इन योर माइंड सह अंबसा पत्र पद्म पत्र में वह पापे न लिप्य थे और सम इवन प्रेफर सह पापे न लिप्य थे अंबस अंबसा पद्म पत्र में वह सो दिस अंबसा पद्म पत्र में वह कैन इवन गो इन द एंड बट आई प्रेफर इट इन दिस और यू कैन इवन फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग से यथा पद्म पत्र अंबसा न लिप्य थे तथा सह पापे न लिप्य थे बिकॉज इव कैन बी एक्सपांडेड इन टू यथा तथा फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वाई इज इट सो हाउ डू यू से सो सो ब्रह्मणी आदाय फाइन सो इट इज एक्सपांडेड हियर यस्मा सिंस काये न मनसा बुद्धिया केवल इंद्रियरपी योगी न कर्म कुरुवंती संगन चक्तवात्म शुद्ध ये because he is doing karma for atma shuddhi not for its main phala you give the main phala you have the chitta shuddhi actually nitya nimitti ka main phala is chitta shuddhi if we try to get some other phala then we start engaging in other karma not in nitya nimitti ka karma even in nitya nimitti ka karma as per पूर्व पक्षी सिंस नो फला इज मेन्श नॉट पूर्व पक्षी एज पर एज पर पूर्व मीमांसक मीमांसक से दैट एनी कर्म विच हैज नो फला इमीडिएटली मेन्शन और अक्रॉस द चैप्टर्स सो मीमांसक फाइंड आउट हाउ डज एनी कर्म कनेक्ट टू एनी फला एंड सम ऑफ द फला एंड फॉर एस्पेशली फॉर सैटेलाइट कर्म देर आर these uh, uh, sub karmas for a main karma there is a main karma which may be elsewhere and in one section there may be small karmas which are talked about so you have to find out which karma has which phala all this has been done uh, analyzed uh, by puru vivasakas very well they have uh, completely studied the uh, vedas and they they have categorized into what karma leads to what phala what are the means what are the accessories what are the options given if something is not available so all this analysis has been done elaborately which we agree with as a vedantin we agree with all of that so the phala they say main phala is swarga others are there main phala is swarga because swarga is ananda roopa you get ananda in swarga therefore they want swarga and that is moksha because moksha is ananda swarupa so that we do not agree with we agree that swarga is a phala and it is ananda swarupa but it is not nitya so we say it is not nitya therefore you will get trapped if you go on this journey there is a gati involved you will get that gati definitely since shruti says that you will get it if you do the karma right however you will have to take birth again again you have to do karma all this is dukha roopa so what they find out is that if there is a karma mentioned phala has to be mentioned if not here elsewhere in some other section so they identify which karma is a primary karma which other karmas are satellite karmas to this main karma what is the phala and if it is done with upasana what is the phala without upasana what is the phala what is the connection of the upasana which devata is there all of these analysis they do now they say that whichever karma has no phala mentioned immediately in that section or elsewhere which cannot be connected their phala has to be taken as the main phala which is leading to swarga thereby nitya nimitti ka karma as per puro vivamsa ka also has to connect to swarga because shruti gives a karma which cannot be without phala so there is a section of puro vivamsa ka which says that uh, the all karma which has no phala mentioned since shruti says it it has to lead to swarga thereby even nitya nimitti ka karma will lead to swarga if you take that in this context then uh, they these yogis karma yogis they do not do it for swarga so they do nitya nimitti ka karma also for atma shuddhi meaning antakarana shuddhi or chitta shuddhi so that is the context here where it is said yogi na karma kurvanti yasma 
देर फोर तस्मा पापे न लिप्यते सो हियर इट इज इन सिंगुलर हियर इट इज टेकन इन प्लूरल दट ओनली डिफरेन्स हियर योगिन संगंत्यक्वा आत्मशुद्ध ये कर्म कुरुवंती व्हाट कर्म कायेन मनसा बुद्ध्या केवल ही इंद्रिये रपी सो दे डू द कर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंद्रिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ बुद्धि विद द हेल्प ऑफ मनस मनह और विद द हेल्प ऑफ काया और ऑल पुट टुगेदर ऑब्वियसली ऑल पुट टुगेदर इज ऑन अदर पॉसिबिलिटी देर आर सम कायिक कर्म देर आर मानसिक कर्म वेयर काया इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व ऑल दो वी कैन से दैट सिंस मनह इज इन काया देयर फॉर काया इज इन्वॉल्व इट इज नॉट दैट इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व so you can take it individually or you can take all put together uh, shankarandi in interprets in three ways very nice but uh, too extensive uh, so kayena manasa buddhya kevalehi indriyehi api even with mere indriyas whatever karmas are done yoginah karma kurvanti so they use all these as tools and for what purpose sangantyatva they have no uh, result that they are looking for in this karma uh, even for the body they do not want anything they don't want anything for the mind also even if it is done with the mind all of this is as an offering to the lord therefore sangam tyaktva phale sangam tyaktva atma shuddhaye karma kurvanti kayena manasa buddhya केवल इंद्रिय गो टूगेदर अभी योगिन कर्म कुरुवंती संगम त्यक्वा फले संगम त्यक्वा वाय सादर्थे चतुर्थी आत्मशुद्ध है योगिन कर्म कुरुवंती संगम त्यक्त योगिन अभी संगम त्यक्वा आत्मशुद्ध ये योगिन कर्म कुर फर्दर वाय बिकॉज युक्त कर्म फल त्यक्वा शांति मनोति नैष्टिकी अयुक्त काम कारेण फले सक्तो निबध्यते एंड वाय डू दे डू इट सो हियर वाय वाय वॉट वाय आर दे नॉट टेन्टेड बाय पापा that why is answered here now what is this yasmach and why why and why why is why do they do so for what reason do they do it atma shuddhe but why because yukta yogi hi karma phalan tyaktva shanti maapnoti neshtikim is it for the atma shuddhi purpose yes it is for atma shuddhi but atma shuddhi itself is not the goal at all that's why both give the same result karma yoga as well as sanyasa gives the same result sankhya why because the end goal is same end goal is not chitta shuddhi for a karma yogi end goal is still moksha also for a sanyasi the end goal is not jnana which is asthira it is vasana kshaya we have seen last time vasana kshaya jnana which is not with obstacles it is without obstacles that jnana nishtha thereby both have a same goal in mind वन थ्रू चित्त शुद्धि अनदर ज्ञाना विच इज वासना रहिता देर फोर मना इज इन्वॉल्व इन बोथ केसेस वेर मन शु मना शुड बी वेरी शुद्ध एंड इन देश ऑफ द ज्ञाना इज ऑल्सो कॉमन इन बोथ केसेस देर बाय अस्माच युक्त कर्म फल त्यक्वा हेविंग गिवन कर्म फल युक्त इज हू दिस योग युक्त योग युक्त कर्म फल त्यक्वा फाइनली वॉट डज ही गेट Chitta Shuddhi and through Chitta Shuddhi, Jnana and Jnana is for what purpose? Shanti. So Shantim Aapnoti, he attains Shanti. Naishti Ki and this Shanti, initially that peace only by withdrawing from karma. If you withdraw from karma, you remain with yourself, whether you know your own nature or not. Just withdrawal from karma and becoming meditative that itself gives some sukha so that shanti is there but naishtikim shanti trilinga therefore naishtikim shanti is trilinga tinanta so naishtikim shanti which is which that there is nishtha there 
in the long run he will get nishta and thereby this uh, karma karma phala he has given up therefore he has got chitta shuddhi so jnana will arise easily not only jnana will arise easily but nishta will become easier because vasana akshaya is happening together up to certain extent because the person is doing karma yoga for chitta shuddhi he has no phala akanksha therefore therefore vasanas are not becoming dridha they are loosening up and the less you use the vasanas the more they will weaken thereby ayuk uh, what will happen naishtikim shantim aapnoti first the shanti then nishta also thereby naishtikim shantim aapnoti on the other hand ayuktaha what will happen ayuktaha one who is not yoga yuktaha the way we have seen ayogataha because the person does not have yoga he has without yoga ayogataha ayuktaha kama karena due to kama kama is the hetu due to kama vasana being the hetu vasana fructifies manifests as kama and then kama karena raga karena dvesha karena phale saktaha due to that he has asakti in phala therefore he becomes phale asaktaha phale sakta and thereby nibadyate he is bound so yuktaha karma phalam tyaktva shanti maapnoti or karma phalam tyaktva yuktaha shanti maapnoti yuktaha shanti maapnoti and what kind of shanti naishtikim naishtikim shanti aapnoti you can keep yukta in the beginning itself easier you know yukta karta first then karma kartari prayoga shanti maapnoti what kind of shanti naishtikim shanti which remains it does not go yeah, in this font it is difficult to see uh, anuswara so all mark it as makara itself ayuktaha do kama kar karena phale saktaha nivadyate so kama karena phale saktaha ayuktaha or ayuktaha is the reason for him to be kama karena phale saktaha ayukta can be taken here saktaha काम कारण फले सकता अयुक्त निबद्यते वाई इज अयुक्त ही इज नॉट कर्मयोग युक्त वाय बिकॉज काम कारण फले सकता दिस इज द रीजन दट ही इज अयुक्त और यू कैन से इज अयुक्त वॉट इज ई डूइंग काम कारण फले सकता बोथ वेज इट इज पॉसिबल अयुक्त निबद्यते युक्त नैष्टिकीं शांति आपनोति ऑन दी अदर हैंड अयुक्त निबद्यते इज बाउंड देर फोर one should pick what do you want you want to be bound or you want to be freed so here karmani prayoga he is bound and here kartari prayoga he attains sukha therefore you have to choose you want to be yukta or uh, ayukta now this is in contrast to the sanyasi who uh, was a karma yogi earlier and then naishtiki shanti he has already attained or uh, he has taken sanyasa for to uh, he has attained shanti and he wants nishta he wants naishtiki shanti thereby vidva sanyasa is taken so there are three categories here itself all three can be seen yukta karma phalam tyaktva shanti maapnoti then as a sanyasi naishtiki shanti maapnoti but one who is neither a karma yogi nor a sanyasi nor a jnani he kama karena sakta yukta nibadyate all three can be seen here यस्तु परमार्थ दर्शी ऑन दी अदर हैंड हु इज अ परमार्थ दर्शी परमार्थ दर्शी मीन्स परमार्थ दर्शी तुम शीलम यन हू ऑलवेज सी परमार्थ इन एवरीथिंग ही हैज अ पारमार्थिक दृष्टि देर बाय सह सर्वकर्मा मनसा संस्ते सुखम वशी नवद्वारे पुरे देही नैव कुरवन न कारयन तो सर्वकर्मा मनसा संस्य सर्वकर्मा मनसा संस्य यबंता संस्य हैविंग गिवन अप आस्ते ही रिमेन्स ही रिमेन्स आस्ते सुखम सुखम आस्ते सुखम आस्ते हि इट इज एडवर्बियल सुखे न आस्ते वशी ही वशी ही हैज अ से ओवर 
all the indriyas and antakarana as well buddhi also he has a say over he lets the buddhi work with viveka and uh, thereby he does not indulge sarva karmani manasa api sanyasya even uh, even in in the mind also through the mind also he gives up not only sarva karma so there is a long discussion on this manasa sanyasya meaning what giving up so mental sanyasa so this, this is a very good uh, uh, you know very good shloka to misinterpret as well or right interpretation also you cannot blame someone who says manasa sanyasya but bhagwan bhashyagara takes the purva paksha here manasa sanyasya so sarva karma you don't have to give up at all manasa sanyasya so thereby karma yoga is possible but what does bhagwan bhashyagara say yastu parmartha darshi thereby manasa sanyasya will not work he is a sanyasi parmartha darshi thereby not only mental sanyasya sarva karma ani sanyasya manasa api sanyasya because he is vashi he and one who, who can have vasha over everything who has given up you cannot say that i have control over everything and keep on indulging thereby vashi all this show that this person he is remaining in the sharira but he is not engaging thereby navadware pure dehi deha asya sthiti dehi this dehi stays in sharira pure pura is sharira or puram is a city a city of nine gates navadware there are two eyes there are two nostrils there are two ears and then there is one mouth so how many are these these are uh, seven so two eyes then nostrils and ears put six put together six then one mouth seven and then uh, two dwaras which are below the waist so there are two dwaras nine total nine so the city of nine gates which is a sharira deha and the dehi is separate from this deha dehi kurvan na karyan na kurvan na karyan karyan eva aste navadware pure aste that is the anvaya here sukham aste and not considering that uh, oh i have so much of dukha in the sharira prarabdha will affect the sharira but sharir it should not affect because the sharir is not really sharir he has no sharira at all he is free by parmartha darshana therefore he is parmartha darshi better as you can uh, Yeah, it's not possible to do this. So I'll take this to the next page. Easier to see. Yastu Paramartha Darshi Sarva Karmani Manasa Sanyasya Aste Sukham Vashi Navadware Pure Dehi Naiva Kurvanna Karayan Vashi Navadware Pure Dehi Na Eva Kurvan Doing Karayan is the kari is the dhatu uh, sanadyanta nijanta it is nijanta which is sanadyanta uh, sanadi pratya nich pratya nich is a here it is hetu mati nich making someone do so are you sitting there not doing but you make someone do no a jnani will not be making someone do something on his behalf that person is not a jnani so here he is not even the uh, causative karta he is not even making someone else do what he cannot do not right so sarva karmani manasa sanyasya aste how sanyasya sukham aste who is this vashi navadware pure aste sukham aste sukham will go as adverbial to aste सुखे नर्वकर्माणी मनसा सब वशी देही नेही न कुरवन न कारयन एव नवद्वारे पुरे सुखमास्ते सर्वकर्माणी मनसा सन्यस्य वशी देही देही न कुरवन न सो देही 
नवद्वारे पुरे देही सुकमास्ते सो वशी सो सन्यस्य वशी सर्व कर्माणी मनसा सन्यस्य वशी भवति एंड न कुरुवन न कार्यन एव नवद्वारे पुरे देही सुकमास्ते so you can see if you can make a better one where I particularly like it this way. La Kurvanna Karayan also can go after Dehi. So, Namadvare Kure Dehi La Kurvanna Karayan La Kurvanna Karayan Eva Sukhamaste. So that is also possible. I will keep it this way. Before uh, moving to the other, let's see if I can pick something from the Bhashya. This is 13th sloka. I think I remember it is a long, yeah, not such a long uh, one. Sarvani karmani, sarva karmani sanyasya parityajya nityam naimitikam kamyam pratishiddham cha. What are the sarva karma, all karmas? Nitya karma, naimitika karma, kamya karma, pratishiddham. So, kamya and pratishiddha, anyway, the karma yogi has also given up. What to talk about sanyasi? But sanyasi gives up nitya naimitika karma also. Thereby you see that this is not someone who is a mental sanyasi. Not mental as in not in the word of uh, uh, who has lost his mind, but a sanyas, sanyasa is mental. So, uh, we talk about mental sanyasi. It is very likely that the person may go mental because it is difficult to draw a balancing act. So, it is a lighter side, but uh, that can also be the meaning. So, a person who claims that there is a mental sanyasi, it is very difficult to see. The person may really be so, we do not know. But the person who claims so and you see that the behavior is not right, even from the onlookers perspective, the behavior is not right. We see such modern sannyasis also, let alone uh, other ashramis, but we see some sannyasis also who have just Veshadharis. Thereby it is very easy to go, they lose their mind, it is easy to see also. You see, publicly you see that uh, the behavior shows, unfortunately, anyway, that is an aside. Sarvani Karmani, Sarva Karmani, Sanyasya Parityajya. So, this is Karma Dharaya, he is doing Sarva Karmani, Sanyasya Parityajya, Nityam Naimitikam, Kamyam Pratishiddham Cha, Tani Sarvani Karmani, Manasa Viveka Buddhya. So, what is this Manasa Viveka Buddhya? He, with the mind, why does he give up all karma? He is not giving it up mentally. So, this Manasa is not adverbial. It is through, it is an instrument which has led to this manasa viveka buddhya. Am I a karta? No. Am I a phala bhokta? Do I want this phala which I have wanted it across janvas? What has it given me? It has given me bandha, more bandha and never ending bandha. All dukkha rupa. Therefore, manasa is viveka buddhya, sarvani karmani parityajya. So, due to this, so this can also be hetu. Due to this Hetu, Viveka Buddhi is the Hetu there which leads to Sanyasa for a person. Karma adhu, Akarma Sandarshanena, Santajati Ityartha. So, all with, unto this Karma, he has Akarma Sandarshana also. He says that I am not doing any of this. And what are these Karmas? Since he has given up all of these Karmas, the Karmas only which remain with a Sanyasi are these Dikshatana and taking care of the body. Protecting from disease, etc. And what are those? All of these which are talked about here. So, all of these, all these 13 things talked about here. These are the karmas, not any karma, any other karma. These karmas which are done for the protection of the body. And thereby what happens? A karma sandarshanena, where not in all karma, in the breathing, in blinking the eyes, in bhikshatana ityadi while eating the food, bhiksha, etc. Aste tishtati sukham aste. Tyakta vangmana kaya cheshta nirayasaha prasanna chitta atmana anyatra nivrutta sarva bhaiya prayojana yati sukham aste chichate. Vashi jitendriya tiyartha. So, vashi means jitendriya. Kva katham aste aha navadvare pure. How does he stay in the body? Now, there is a puro paksha where 
he asked that Navadware Pure, which is a Sharira, everyone is in the Sharira, what is so special about a Jnani? I think it is there in the Bhashya also and in Shankaranandi also this point is raised. Puro Pakshi says, what do you mean that Navadware Pure Aste? Everyone is there, everyone is in the body, but there the Siddhanti says, no, it is not true. You think about it. Is everyone thinking that I am staying in this body? One may just say, you know, listening to something or, but is he really convinced that you are uh, using this body as a house? No. Why? Because you say, I stay in the house. I stay in this flat. I stay in this uh, bungalow. I stay in this, uh, this kind of a society. But does anyone really say, I stay in the house? But if a jnani knows, he may not say it. He is occupying this sharira as a house, but an ajnani is not occupying the sharira. He thinks himself as with sharira as a package and he says, I stay in this house in an apartment, etc. Ashrama. So, uh, this is the kind of uh, chinta which is done here. So, anyway, I wanted to read through this at least. So, it's already past 10. So, we'll uh, have a look. Uh, if anybody is interested, we'll have a look in the next part of Om Tachyadu Shanti 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 Any questions? Okay, so we will stop here. I will see you in the next part of Namaste.